Hey guys, question. Have you ever wanted a Namiya 2000 network on your boat, but you didn't want to pay thousands for the install and to have it all linked together? Well, today for under $180, I'm going to show you how to do your own network, and you can do it right here at home. So, stay tuned. With that being said, let's get to work. So you may be asking, why network? Why do you want your consoles and everything to be working together? And let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about here. All right, so on my network here, I have these two consoles right here. And then if you look right there at the front of the boat, this little guy up here, that's the console for the trolling motor. So whenever you have them networked together, whenever you drop a waypoint, say it's right here, um, let's see that you want to name it say there's a point right there hit enter hit save and it'll pop up on all of them so if you come up to the front look same thing point on all of them So, now if you're asking why you'd want that, okay, so whenever you're trolling along, say you're coming down the river, and you see a sunken tree, or, you know, some brush, or rock piles, or whatever have, or whatever you have it, um, or even you can mark points and everything, but now, whenever you zoom in, you could actually drop an even better waypoint, but no matter where you're at so if you're just trolling along up here you know just trying to get readouts and say you drop your marker on your side imaging whenever you go down you turn your boat around drop your trolling motor and then you troll back over it uh, I have the front console hooked up to the trolling motor transducer so it reads whatever's underneath of it and out in front of it so no matter where I put a waypoint Hopefully you can't hear all the motorcycles going by. <laughs> but um, you'll be able to tra uh, transfer over everything. So it'll share all the waypoints, the GPS markers, you know, the tags, whatever you have it. Um, even whenever you're going along, I'm going to have this little one right here doing underwater mapping. So it'll give you the basic contour lines of what's underneath um, the water. So that's why you network. So that way you're you're everything's working together that way you know you don't just have your waypoints up here and you're going up blindly running around with your trolling motor i like to see the points that i marked with the side imaging and then go up with the down imaging in the 2d and go back over it so i can get a better reading and a sight to see what's underneath me so now let's show you uh exactly what to get from amazon real fast and then i'll get into how i hooked it up so is that here we go. all right guys so you want to go to your Amazon shopping you want to pull that up and then you want to search nah um, hold on here then the Mia 2000 starter kit I can type fat fingers and I went down and picked up this one that has the double T right here so this is the exact one that I got and I'll show you why but now, whenever you're ordering this, you're going to have to order another T, which is this right here. And then another cable like that. Well, actually, you'll have to order two. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I had to get one that was 15 feet and then one that was, I needed one that was three, but I think I got one that was six. But I'll show you why. Um, so with that, let's... Uh, get up under the dash and I'll show you how everything is hooked up and so you understand this kit a little bit better alright guys so let's slide up under the dash here 
one of the cones in. Ugh, get the glasses off. All right, flip this camera around. Oh. All right, so here's that kit. This here is one of the Terminators. You gotta have this on one end and then you gotta have it closed on the other end. Like you can't have any open ports because if you do, then it won't work. This is that double T right here. So these are the two cables that came with the starter kit. These run up, let me get back in focus here. Um, these run up to the two monitors here at the console. And then this, this is that 15 foot one that I have running out and I'll show you here in a second, but this is the power wire. It has to be hooked to 12 volt battery, at least 12 volt system anyhow. Um, now I ran it to its own battery just so I wouldn't drop power, but you can hook it to the same one that you're powering your fish finder with. Again, this here is just a terminator. But now these two I had to run up under the console here and up out the side to those fish finders and then the 15 foot one here, it goes up and out of here. I'll show you. Now I had to pull it out. Get back and focus here. All right, so it comes up out of here and I got these little sticky tabs from Amazon and they just run up along the edge of the boat, which I mean, pretty clean install. You know, I don't mind seeing it a little bit, but I run it up under here and back I'm up under here. Now I do have it sticking out as you can see right here because this is that T that you're gonna have to buy. And this is where the 15 foot cable plugs in. Now this here's a terminator and this cable runs up to the back of the console and that allows them to work together. But again, these are the two cables that you're gonna have to buy in the extra T from that kit. So whenever you do that, that's how you get them all working together and how I, you know, squeeze them up out of here. These go to these consoles here. And again, that's the 15 foot one that goes up to the front. Now I do have them run to their own little self-made battery box back here because the back is full. But I got that NOCO charger. I got the two little lithium batteries that are 12 volt hooked up with the fuses and they're just running up along here and tucked away up under because this was stripped out from the previous owner. So, but with that being said, the whole install, it didn't really take me no time at all. Maybe, I don't know, uh, a little over an hour. And I mean, my tools that I used was just really metal hanger so I can help feed it up along that console over there. These little sticky tabs and electrical tape. All right guys, so with that being said, um, I went on Amazon and got everything. And like I said, it only took me maybe a little over an hour to install. Um, I didn't know if it would work. I didn't find a whole lot out there unless you're hooking into that module block or whatever it's called by, you know, low ramps or something. But that's how I got all mine to work together. Um, so if you have any questions, um, I can, you know, answer them in the comments. Uh, whatever you have troubles with, let me know. Um, it really wasn't that hard. It was actually simple. And as for all those wires that are hanging out up front, those will be tucked up under uh, that little panel up there. So um, it will look a lot better. So, but I tucked everything up under the console here. Um, so it's hidden. But that there was a huge, huge help because now, like I said, if I'm marking waypoints back here at the driver's seat, whenever I go up to get even better look at them or to find out how far up the, um, the structure or you know debris that the fish are, uh, I'll have a better shot at just dropping it down basically in the face. Um, so can't wait to get on the water. And, you know, hopefully soon. I keep saying that, but the Pennsylvania weather starting to warm up. Um, so it will be manageable to go out here soon. So thanks for staying tuned here. Um, if you like this comment or if you like this, subscribe, you know, stay tuned because, uh, all this nerdy stuff will be transformed into catching fish and showing you how to locate fish and find fish and being able to catch them. So thanks for tuning in guys. I'll see you in the next.